All right, uh, statistics time. A survey on remote learning was carried out on a random sample of 400 students. 135 of the students preferred remote learning over in-person learning. For parts A, one, two, and three, give all solutions as decimals, four decimal places. Work at the proportion of the sample that preferred remote learning. 135 over 400 to four decimal places. 0 0.3375. Use the margin of error 1 over root n to create a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of the, the population that preferred remote learning. Now, there are two formulas for this. And I think the one of the formula book is a little bit accurate, but there's a less accurate one that is often used in the maths books, which is just root n. Well, I'll, I'll show you both. I'll show you both anyways. So it's going to be 0 0.3375 plus or minus 1 over root 400. So at the upper end, the positive end, that's 0 0.3375. 3875 and then at the lower end that's 0 0.2875 there's a slightly more accurate formula where it's the proportion plus or minus 1.96 times root at uh, proportion times 1 minus the proportion over n where that's the proportion so I'm just curious to how similar or different that formula would be if I used it. So let me see, 0 0.3375 plus 1.96 root um, 0 0.3375 times 1 minus 0 0.3375 over 400, 400, not 40. Pretty close, 0 0.3838, nearly the same. And then at the lower end, 0 0.2912. They're the two formulas you can use. I'm guessing because they said this in the question, they want this guy. Uh, but sometimes they don't specify, and so you have two possible solutions here. So I'm going to say it's this one I think they're looking for. But you can see that there's not a huge difference between them anyways. Use the proportion from part A1 um, to create a 95% confidence interval for this population portion that is more accurate than the 95%. <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. I literally just did that in part two right here. That's literally what I just did. That's more accurate. Isn't that gas? Use the proportion of part A. Yeah, okay. That's so funny. That's so funny. All right, and now a hypothesis test. Uh, in 2019, people with prepay mobile phone plans spent on average 2079. In 2021, some students carried out a survey to see if this figure had changed. The survey of 500 people, and they got 2216, a standard deviation of 8 to 12. Carry out the 5% level just to see if it shows a change in the amount of spending. Okay, null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is that the average is still 2079 euros. And the alternative hypothesis is that it's no longer this, it's changed. We calculate the test statistic as x minus mu over sigma over root n, which will be 20.79 over, um, Sorry, 20.79. No, I'm looking at the wrong number. Uh, 22.16 minus 20.79 over 8.12 over root 500.
3.77. They never asked for the p-value. So I don't have to calculate the p-value here. I can take a bit of a shortcut. Um, this, this value of z is not within the usual um, minus 1.96 to 1.96 range. So, oh, the reason for the conclusion, I guess I should put that. It's kind of in a weird order. But the conclusion is you reject the null. And the reason is that z that's equal to 3.77 is um, not in the interval minus 1.96 to 1.96. By the way, some students may want to go ahead and calculate the p-value here. But I'm not sure if you can because 3.77 is quite large and I'm not sure if the table book goes that high. It doesn't. It stops at 3. Oh, that's very mean of them. That's very, very mean of them. It makes me wonder if I made a mistake. It's so mean of them. Let's double check it. 500 people. Yep. Yeah. It's that, and standard deviation is that. So 22.16x minus mu, 20.79 over sigma divided by root n, root 500. Oh, I got 3.75. I must have typed in something wrong the first time. 22.16 minus 20.79. Oh, 8.12. 8 I wrote 8.16 on the calculator. 3.77. Yeah, so you actually can't get the p-value here. Oh, mean. Very mean of them. Um, so you have to just know that 1.96 is kind of the cutoff value. The critical value is 1.96. Not happy with this question. Yeah, these are called the critical values, by the way. And I'm really, really, really surprised that they gave such a Z value because it means that students who wanted to calculate the P value can't. And they sometimes ask for the P value, so it's quite unusual.